Welcome back to the Vegetastic Mum channel everyone, I hope you're all well. I've just got home from work and picking the kids up and taking Evie to her dance class. Um, they've all got something for dinner I didn't really fancy tonight and I knew I had these chorizo shroom dogs in the fridge that needed using. So I thought I would bring to you on this video a recipe that I use these for um, and it's a Mediterranean chorizo paprika smoky style dish with feta cheese. Um, so let's go have a look at what we need and I'll talk you through the steps and I hope you enjoy. So for this recipe you're going to need chorizo shroom dogs. Now these are from Sainsbury's. One medium sized red onion, one courgette, one aubergine, plum tomatoes, some flat leaf parsley, feta cheese, some red wine vinegar, salt and ground black pepper. We're also going to use mixed herbs. A medium sized glass dish and for this recipe I'm going to be using the air fryer but again if you don't have an air fryer that's not a problem you can do it just as easy in your oven and we are also going to be using the induction hob okay guys so to start with for this recipe we're going to chop the veg up so I have already washed all my veg so you need your courgette and we're going to slice it down the middle and then we're just going to chop it to probably maybe centimetre wide bits, okay, like so. And then we're just going to pop that into our glass dish out the way for a moment. We're going to take our aubergine, chop the end and the tail off. And we're going to cut this down the middle. And then we're going to cut these again. Let's do this half first, that to one side. And again, it's just a, a rough chop maybe just over a centimetre wide. Pop that into there. And do the other half. And then we want our red onion. So we're gonna top and tail our onion. Knives could do with a, a sharpen, I think. Okay, so chop up our onion again. It's just a rough chop. You don't need to be precious about how you know thick or how straight looking or even these are really doesn't matter in this recipe okay pop those in there so as you can see we've got a dish full of our veg that we've chopped up and then we're going to get our air fryer basket So, and I've already lined this with uh, my parchment sheets that I use. We are going to literally pop all of this into the air fryer. Okay, give it a bit of a, a mix round. And we are going to coat this in some extra virgin olive oil. So you're just looking to put enough on to coat it all, okay? Then, at this point as well, we are going to add 
our mixed herbs and we're going to put on a good two heaped teaspoons into there. We are also going to grind some sea salt. Again, just a, a good sprinkling over and the same with your ground black pepper. I like a good, good heat teaspoon. Okay, so this is what we've got and we're going to get that all mixed up together. Get that all coated in the oil, make sure you've got all the bits. And we are now going to literally throw on our cherry tomatoes. Like I say, this, this is, again, another simple recipe that I do where you're literally just throwing everything in. So we're going to pop this now into our air fryer. And we are going to pop this on 200... 20 minutes. Now while that's cooking I'm going to show you what we need to do next. So guys for this next step we're going to need our shroom dogs and oh smell lovely. The creep is really strong so we're going to take each sausage you're going to cut it down the middle Put it in half and then we're going to chop it into bits and remember these shroom dogs can be quite sticky so I'm just going to chop all these into bits. I'll do another one and then I'll get these done and bring you back. So chop them in half and centimetre size bits okay I'll get the rest of these done and come back to you okay guys so I've finished chopping all these up and now we're just going to spray a little bit of oil into the bottom of our pan because these do tend to stick a little bit. Okay. Right guys, so I'm gonna pop the induction hob on. We've got a medium heat, so I'm gonna put it on number seven. And we're gonna add the shroom dogs to the pan. They, they do they do tend to stick a bit so just um, break them up a bit as they're cooking try and stop them from sticking together so that's it so once you, you've separated them you're gonna keep giving them the odd stir nice bit of ASM, ASMR I think it is for you there for the noise of these cooking. They smell lovely. Um, we're going to let these cook for about eight minutes, giving them a good stir, making sure they're not burning, but we just want them to, to nicely start and brown. And you will see as they're cooking that they start to release. will start to release a bit of the chorizo oil that's in them and that's a good thing that's what we want we want a nice bit of the chorizo oil there so let's let these cook and then i'll come back to you okay guys so now these have started to all 
beautiful brown, as you can see. We're then going to add our red wine vinegar. Now we're going to add one, two, three, four tablespoons of red wine vinegar. And we're aiming, just give these a stir, get them coated in the red wine vinegar. And then we're gonna leave these on a lower heat. So I'm gonna turn this down to five. And we're gonna leave these to sit in the red wine vinegar just for three or four minutes and just let them caramelize a little bit in the red wine vinegar. Okay guys, this is what we're aiming for our shrimp dogs to look like. Nice and caramelized in that red wine vinegar nice and browning okay then all we're going to do with these is pop them to one side and just leave them in the pan for now and then while we're waiting for things to finish off cooking you can grab yourself your flat leaf parsley and you want a good good handful flat leaf parsley never go wrong with parsley and we're going to chop our parsley side until we're ready for it so guys we're into our last minute with our veg um, I would just like to say that I pulled them out and gave them a stir after 10 minutes and then popped them back in there we go so this is what we've got nice and roasted now if you like your veg a bit more roasted pop them back in on 200 and do, just do them for sort of three minutes at a time until you've got the desired effect that you'd like but they're done enough for me so let's take these out and go to the next step okay guys so I have put all the veg and a handful of our chopped parsley into this dish now I did swap dishes because the one that I originally got out was was never going to hold all this veg so this is what we've got. As I say, I've added a handful of our parsley into there and given that a stir round, given that a mix. Now we're gonna add in our shrooms, shroom dogs, chorizo shroom dogs, like so. And again, give these and mix in. So you've got all the flavours mixed up together. Okay, like so. Then our next step is you want to get your feta cheese. And we are going to crumble over. Now we're going to use the full full amount here. If you're not that keen on feta, you don't have to use the whole thing. It's entirely up to you and your taste. So I like to I like feta cheese on this. It kind of adds adds a nice kick to it all. Okay. Now, all the elements, the flavours of this are all quite strong, so you might think there's a bit too much feta, but again, it's your own, own personal own personal taste, whatever you fancy. 
So I've left a little bit in there just to pop on the top, but I'm gonna give this that we've added in so far a stir in, hopefully without making too much of a mess, because I am very messy sometimes. Oh, it looks lovely, my mouth's watering. And because I know how good this tastes already. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to crumb over the last bit of feta cheese. Like so. And just sprinkle over, just to finish it off, some of our parsley. So guys, this is what we've got. This is what we've made. And let's go in for a taste test. Let's get a bit on a plate and I'm gonna tell you how beautiful it tastes. Sure, we get a bit of a bit of everything on there, like so. Here we go. Mm. I love this dinner. I'm having some more. It really is lovely and as I say hot or cold this is really good with the leftovers I'll often have it the next day um, just as it is out the fridge it is a very Mediterranean type dish but all the flavors are absolutely beautiful and these sh the shroom dogs if you haven't tried them go and try them because they're lovely and you'd be very surprised the texture of them isn't really isn't well it's nothing like a mushroom <laughs> it's nothing like a mushroom mm. and they're really smoky you can really taste the paprika on them they're absolutely gorgeous so that is the end of the video for today i hope you like this so in total, it probably takes about half an hour. Um, the, ma the main weight is waiting for your, your veg to roast in the air fryer. But again, it's one of them things you can just whack in the air fryer, put your timer on, and you don't have to worry about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry the cat is meowing at me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up leave any comments below please like and subscribe um and i will see you all in the next one take care